my channel. So today we're going to be making a nail and stringer DIY. It's actually pretty easy and you don't need a lot of stuff for it. So if you guys are interested or if you ever wanted to make one, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So you're going to need a piece of wood that can hang. I got mine from Michaels. You're also going to need some free images that you'll print out as your template. You'll need some tape, some string that can be any color you like and any thickness. The thinner, the easier, the thicker, the more it'll be filled out. You'll also need some nails. I used a little more than two packs, so you definitely need a lot of nails. Now here I'm using a meat cleaver, I think that's what it's called. I don't really eat meat, I've never used it for meat. It's kind of our hammer in the house. So try to use a hammer, it's definitely going to be much easier. <laughs> Next you're going to cut out your images so that they fit on the board and you can lay them out however you'd like. And then you're going to tape them down, but make sure when you're taping them down, you're not taping on the actual picture because you don't want the nail to go through the tape. So now take your nails and you're going to nail them along the outline of your picture. If you want to see a more clear outline of your picture, then you'll just be using more nails closer together. But if you want a bit more of like a rustic-y kind of look, so not perfect look, then you can do them more far apart. I was sort of in between the two. And then also I didn't record the rest of this because as I was nailing, it was shaking the camera and it was really loud inside. So I just took Maisie, my cat, to the park to finish that part. The next thing to do is to now rip the paper off. That's why you didn't want to tape down where the paper was because it would just be harder to rip the tape but you're gonna be ripping that off. So now what you're gonna do is take the string and tie a double knot or a triple knot around one of the nails of that picture and then you're going to do the outline. You wanna do the outline first so that you can really see what your picture is and you know like what nails belong to which petal, etc. What I did was sort of start at the base of the petal and then go around each nail around the petal. You can kind of see what I'm saying. And then you can do more zigzags and stuff to fill up space. Then tie another double knot to secure it and cut the string. Basically you just don't want to have a lot of large spaces that don't have any string where you can directly see the wood because it'll look weird once it's up or won't look finished. So just try your best to basically cover the whole area of the petal with string. All that's left is to wrap your other string around the middles of your flowers. It doesn't have to be in any particular pattern. And then you're all done. Thanks so much for watching. So if you guys made your very own string art, tell me what design you made or if you made the same one. I really want to know, so comment that below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and press subscribe to see a bunch more coming your way every week. Alright, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next week. Bye.